Gluing boiled ham to pensioners' spectacles while they wait harmlessly in bus queues may strike some of us as a somewhat peculiar hobby. Crawling on the pavement behind snails or trying to hypnotise trout in the local fishmongers may seem to even more of us... <laughs> exactly. Dennis Shovel can wholeheartedly be called an oddity. As an infant, Dennis had two favourite hiding places, the fridge and the spin dryer. You wouldn't believe the amount of times we've had to thaw him out on the hearth rug, his mother Madge told me. As for the spin dryer, his favourite programme was number four, and he'd never come out until he'd been tumble-dried. I couldn't believe the shovels would actually switch on the machine with Dennis inside it. We had to, chipped in his father Bert. Otherwise he threatened to start eating the vows in the back of the telly again. I have known the shovels for some thirty years now. Dennis has obviously mellowed, but still occasionally wavers. Just last week he grabbed two eggs from a milk float, cracked them over his head and poured vinegar over himself. Look, everybody, I'm hollandaise sauce, he yelped. That's lovely, Dennis, yes, people encouraged before sighing inwardly and then going about their business. For myself, Dennis summed up his every quirk when he caught me hanging a vest out to dry one beautiful April morning. His beaming face appeared over my wooden fence. Should poodles wear mascara? he quizzed, before tapping his right nostril knowingly and lowering himself into a pile of old prams and bicycle frames.